hello youtube and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna learn how we can create a dll file in visual studio and how we can use it and utilize it in our projects so let's begin open the visual studio and create new project And we're gonna select class library of .NET framework. Naming this a relevant name is very necessary. I'm naming it calculator and create new project. So the project is here. First thing you have to do is delete this class and create a new class. Go to add and class and name it functions. You can name it whatever you want. I'm making this class a static class it's not necessary but it will come in handy and uh, uh, you should make the uh, I'm making this class static because I have to make all the methods inside it static if you are not making all the method inside it static just don't make it static so static void add I'm choosing this simple function so I can demonstrate it easily and you guys and you guys can understand it easily so num2 and it's gonna return a double so return its only function is to return the sum of these two parameters so plus and return this so I'm gonna copy this and paste it a few times And here we have developed four functions of a simple calculator so that's gonna be inside my DLL file to create the DLL file you have to go to build and build solution So it is built successful. Now here is our project calculator. Go inside this and bin and debug. And here is our DLL file. So I'm gonna store it here to use it in our next project. So I'm gonna close the Visual Studio for now. And I'm gonna start a new project. and this time it's gonna be a console application but you can use whatever you want windows form or wpf or any other dotnet framework for simplicity i'm using console application of dotnet framework so click next and i'm gonna name it calculator app and create the project
so here is our project the first thing you should do is copy this and go to the calculator app which we have created recently the console application and paste the dll file here these are the project files now when you have uh, uh, paste the dll file go to solution explorer and add references if you don't have the solution explorer here you can go here there's all sort of windows like the property window and toolbox window and here is the solution explorer window so you can search the windows here so add reference browse go to where you have pasted the dll file which is console app and here is our dll file so add this to your project make sure this is checked click ok now we can use the dll file which is named as calculator so using calculator so using calculator is not showing the calculator and i'm gonna show you what is the problem here so we're gonna start the old project again which was the calculator so here is our function here is our project so what was wrong here we didn't make this class public that was wrong we should make the class and all of the functions all of the methods as public so first of all delete this and also delete the dll file which we had copied here and now we're gonna create the new one so build build, build solution i had to show the error because uh, if uh, it is a most basic error if you don't make things public it would uh, you would get into the trouble of not knowing what is wrong with your project so we have made it public and now let let's test the dll file so get into the calculator which was the class library project go to debug here is our new dll file copy this and here is the calculator app which is the console application and here paste the dll file now close it and now we're gonna test our application so now it shows calculator and we didn't even have to add the references again so it's now showing calculator now to use all of its function type function dot add and 4 and 10 are the numbers we are giving it and console dot write line to print the result also console dot read key to hold the result and copy it 
and paste it here and remove the semicolon and now we're gonna copy paste it and change the function to subtract multiply divide and now it is complete but let's give this some relevant number so the divide looks good so 10 here and 2 here and also in the subtract give 10 here and 4 here now start the application And now you can see the result of sum, subtract, and multiply and divide. So these are all the results. So thank you for watching the video. And uh, if you like the video, press the like button. And also, please subscribe the channel. And see you next time.